Hi, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, which you probably are because I haven't posted since 2021. Yeah, it's been two years. Hi, I'm Marie. I used to post videos here and then I stopped and now I'm back. And today I'll be talking about the entire, pro not really the entire process, but the cabin crew recruitment, open day, hiring, whatever. Y you get what I'm saying. So just a brief background. I used to work for a local low cost airline in the Philippines, also as a cabin crew. And then I got retrenched in 2020 because of COVID. And now I am here in Doha, Qatar, as a cabin crew for the world's best airline. Uh, but I am resigning because I got married last February and it's a long story. Uh, I'll probably do another video about that. That's for another time. Some of my friends have been telling me that in case I ever go back to YouTube, I have to start speaking the Tagalog in my vlogs to cast a wider net. Hmm. So, uh, ayun na nga. So, April 2022, nagkaroon ng grand hiring si Qatar Airways sa Manila. Um, I remember it was a four-day event. Um, and I went to the first day. Ma ma maalala ko yan kasi that was the Monday after Easter. So, parang Easter Monday. Um, sabi kasi sa ad, it was from 8 to 12 lang. Because it was supposed to be a CV drop. So, I was thinking, you just literally drop your CV. Pero hindi. Parang one day hiring pala talaga siya. Okay, I went there mga before 6.30. Pero yung linya niya, ahaba na. Like, nasa labas. It was held, by the way, in Peninsula. Tapos, yung pila niya, ang haba na. Nandun na ako sa may fountain ng Manila Pen. Kasi nasa labas na nga yung... Umabot na sa labas yung linya. So, yun. Mga 6.30, nandun na ako. Medyo umuusad naman yung line. Pero... Uh, by 8.30, 8.39, nakapasok na kami peninsula. By 9, yun na yung naka, ano na ako dun sa first step. First step was the uh, arm reach. Sa mga airlines kasi sa Middle East, uh, hindi sila masyado kasi sa Pinas, ba ano tayo, ma height tayo. Pero hindi ko lang alam ha, kasi sabi ko, parang, uh, narinig ko yung ibang airlines daw uh, since the pandemic, nung nag-recall na sila. Tapos parang kailangan pa nila ng more crew kasi nga naglipatan sa Qatar. <laughs> so parang hindi na din sila ma-height. Pero nung time ko, nung nag-apply ako sa previous airline ko, height talaga. Pero sa Middle East kasi, ang alam ko, like here in Qatar, in Emirates, Etihad probably, I don't, uh, probably in Saudi also. It's the arm reach. Wala, wala silang uh, height requirement as long as you can reach their ano, the minimum CM, which is 212. So, kasi I think the logic behind that is the crew should be able to reach the overhead bins. I could be wrong. Anyway, so yung arm reach, um, pwede ka mag-tiptoe. Pwede ka mag -tipto, Pero papatanggal yung heels mo. Papatanggal yung shoes mo, tapos tatayo kayo, parang lima kayong kukunin, tapos yun nga, 212 yung kailangan mong ma-reach. Left hand, tapos dapat tatlong fingers yung lalagpas or abot dun sa line. Dun, tapos right hand naman. After that, kung hindi ka makapasa, nung time na yun, ha, hindi ko alam kung hiring pa rin, pa rin sila. Pero kasi nga, kasi ba mag World Cup nun, so baka kailangan nila. I, I don't know, I'm not sure. Pero nung time na yun, yung mga hindi nakapasa sa arm reach, binigyan sila ng option. Kung ayaw niyo pang umuwi, pwede kayong pumila sa isang nag parang nag rent sila ng another another function room, another hall sa peninsula na doon pupunta yung mga hindi nakaabot ng arm reach. Tapos parang pwede silang mag-apply for parang ground, parang F&B, magsiserve ng food and beverage sa lounge sa Hamad, Hamad International Airport. Yung mga nakapasa, pupunta sa next round the initial initial interview basta one on one wait wait kaya na ilang oras tapos nung time na yun nakamask pa kami um, tapos nung nung ikaw na parang sabi nila please take off your mask tapos yan na depende yung uh, tatlo yung mag-interview Ta tapos depende kung kanino ka mapupunta nandun yung yung isang Pinoy na CSD Tapos, parang a blonde girl. I can't remember if she's British or Australian. And then, si young Russian guy. Sino yun? Yung nag-resign? Basta yung Russian. Rosen, Rosen. Napunta ako dun sa blonde girl. Tapos, um, yung questions, depende sa anong nasa resume mo or 
kung anong nak- kung nakita nila na ex ko ka depende i think at tinitingnan nila kung paano ka sumagot so i guess first step peer confident kahit kahit kinakabahan ka basta pakita mo confident ka sumagot i think they're judging your communication skills too next step would be make sure you're well groomed kasi aside from your communication skills syempre tinitingnan ka din nila kung how well you carry yourself hindi mo alam kung minsan may ibang tao ang daming tanong sa kanya yung iba naman parang dalawa lang tanong tapos na tapos after that hindi ako sure kung yung mga hindi nakapasa sa initial interview pwede pa silang mag-apply ulit dun sa sa ground pero yung mga nakapasa pinahintay na naman tapos medyo matagal yung hintay kasi feeling ko talaga pinuno nila ay parang hinintay nila na isang may certain number of applicants silang kailangan maano ma ma, ma- mahintay para sa makapasok sa next room. Yung next room kasi, um, doon na kami bibigyan ng paper, parang medical. Can't remember, just one sheet of paper or two sheets. Doon sa papel, doon may ilalagay, um, itatik mo yung boxes, you have diabetes, you have heart failure, asthma, blah, blah, blah. Siyempre, no, no, no. <laughs> and then, parang, do you smoke? Even if you smoke, occasionally lang, or socially, just say no, you don't. Kasi medyo ano sila doon. Ayaw nila yon Ah, very strict sila. Very strict sila sa, doon sa smoking and sa tattoos. Medyo strict din sila sa scars, pero very forgiving sila sa moles and birthmarks. Okay, so sa papel na binigay nila, merong parang drawing. There, there's a drawing of a human body. Tapos, mark mo sa sang part ng human body yung meron kang birthmark or mole tapos ilalagay mo kung gano'n siya kaliit kung ilang cm siya declare mo lahat pero huwag mong i-declare na may tattoo ka <laughs> kasi wala ka agad just no if you want to be a flight attendant for Qatar Airways and you're thinking of getting a tattoo don't even think about it stop No. For sure, may mga naka, may, na, may mga naririnig akong nakakalusot. Pero, di ba, why would you risk it? Parang sa lahat ng hinirap mo, tas, parang may added anxiety lang na, oh no, baka ma, ma, ano ako, mahuli ako. So, parang, if I were you, just, wag na lang. So, basta, yung, yung part na yun, yung medical, mga, ano, mga, tap, ay, may essay din siya. Why do you want to become a cabin crew? for Qatar Airways, something like that. That's essay siya. Answer, answer, gano'n. Tapos, once everyone is done, parang we pass the papers, tapos sinabihan kami na, okay, it's lunch time. You can go have your lunch and then just return at one for the next step. Eh, ako, hindi ako gutom. Parang, eh, sobrang excited ako. Parang nakalimutan na nung body ko na magutom. <laughs> kahit, kahit, ano oras, sobrang aga ko nagising. Pero wala pa akong kain the whole day. Parang, hindi, hindi, hindi ko naramdaman yung gutom. Kasi parang, gusto ko na mag- malaman ko anong mangyayari. So, bilang matigas din ulo ko, hindi ako nag-lunch at hindi man ako gutom. So, yun nga, saan lang cut off. Lunch daw, cut off. Hinanap ko talaga kung saan yung linya ng, yung linya for the next step. Which I'm glad I did because yung mga nag-launch daw, mga 10pm na sila natapos. Eh ako parang siguro 4 or 5 natapos na ako. But I can't remember, 5.30, I was already in Greenbelt. So yun nga, um, tinanong ko, ito na ba yung next step? Tapos sabi nila, oo. So na- nagpumila na ako doon. Yun yung longest kong hintay. Kasi from mga 12, 12.30 nata- uh, nagpila na ako, nasa lang ako ng... Mga three, four. So, ang tagal. Tagal ko naghintay. Tapos walang kain, ganun, ganun. Lahat sila parang nagkakakilala na nagka-friends-friends na sila. Tapos ako parang, I was just concentrating on my breathing. <laughs> so, I was so nervous. Tapos, na, na, uh, pumasok na kami. May isang interviewer lang. Isa lang siya. Tapos, anim. I can't remember if it was six or eight na pumasok. Pinaupo niya kami lahat. Tapos, pat- isa-isa, pinatayo niya, come forward, tapos, uh, look to the left, look to the right, come closer, I wanna see your face, do you have any moles or any uh, beauty marks or imperfections? So, yeah, and I guess another tip is you have to conceal all your mga chismis in your face. Yes. <laughs> Pag naka-blazer ka, pa- papatanggal yung blazer, tapos, papagod yung sleeves until the elbows, tapos, papakita mo yung kamay mo, 
Tapos, can't remember if pinaikot pa. Tapos, yun. Uh, three, uh, parang, parang, parang ka na sa go <laughs> Tapos, so, isa-isa kami gina nun. Tapos, after nung ganun, after nung go-see round, ano naman, next naman, dalhin mo na yung resume. Uh, uh, parang nagtatanong na siya ng mga things na nakikita, uh, random stuff. Parang, yung iba, bakit ka, bakit gusto mo maging cabin crew? Yung ibang may experience na, bakit mo gusto, uh, bakit mo gusto Qatar Airways? So, depende lang, anong maisip niya. Tapos, may iba nga daw na parang, ano pa, parang, can you describe the sky to a blind person? Basta, yun ulit, parang, kailangan mo lang maitawid, sister. Itawid lang ang mga tanong nila. Pero, yun, uh, I guess, uh, my tip here would be, do your homework as much as you can. Google stuff about Qatar Airways. Ito, bigay ko na sa'yo. Give ko na to sa'yo, sister. Ang, ang tagline is, going places together. So, try mong i-incorporate yun sa sagot mo. Or, um, tsaka, you have to remember, it's, uh, it's the world's best airline in 2022. And, i-google mo na lang kung anong years pa yung iba. Basta madaming years na laging Skytrack's world's best airline. It's not required to know these stuff, pero, you know, it pays to, parang, bida-bida. So, ayun, nung matapos lahat, um, medyo naging quiet, kasi sulat-sulat siya ng mga comments niya, lalala. Tapos, after a while, nag-ano na siya, nagtawag siya ng mga names. Tapos, sabi niya yung mga tinawag niya, kindly stay. Uh, tapos, uh, dun sa mga hindi natawag, you can go now. So, hindi ako natawag. So, ako parang, <laughs> Sinayang ko buong araw ko. <laughs> Uuwi lang pala akong luhaan. Hindi maluhaan. Pero we went out. Tapos, um, pagkalabas namin yung mga mga staff ng IPAMS, lumapit sa amin. Tapos sabi nila, wait lang before kayo umuwi. Sulat niyo yung name niyo dito. Tapos, yung contact number and email address. Keep your lines open because dito namin kayo kukontakin para sa onboarding. Tapos, Tapos sabi niya, oh my gosh, nakapasa kami. Tapos sabi niya, oh okay, nakapasa. Tapos kami parang, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Tapos yung mga nasa pila pa. Parang sila, okay, congrats, congrats. <laughs> to close the video, I guess, I'm just gonna give you um, a recap of all the tips I've mentioned earlier. So, yun nga. A first is appear confident. You have to look like you're confident. You know what you're doing. Kahit hindi, kahit sobrang kabado ka. Pero yun, parang, poise lang, poise lang. Which leads me to the next step. Um, you have to be well-groomed in. You don't have to look like a supermodel. You just have to look presentable. Third tip is, huwag may declare na nagsismoke ka. And if you're smoking now, hmm, sige, pag nasa Doha ka na, pumaparty ka na sa close, sige, magsmoke ka. Pero habang ngayon, medyo magpaka-healthy muna tayo, ano, sister. If gusto mo nang, pinag-isipan mo nang tattoo, wag muna, wag, 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 wag. <laughs> Kasi sobrang strict nila. Um, tsaka, yon Huwag mo nang i-risk. Sayang. Sayang naman. Pinagot mo, pinila mo ng buong araw. Tapos dahil lang sa tattoo. Diba? Um, oh, also another tip na hindi ko na-mention kanina. Remember that it's a Middle East airline. Yung, yung outfit mo, uh-uh, dapat medyo desente. Hindi medyo dapat desente talaga. <laughs> uh-uh, medyo conservative. Hindi medyo conservative talaga sila. So, yon Iayon, iayon. Dress appropriately. <laughs> Lastly is to. Oh, hindi ko mabasa yung sulat ko. Ah, pray, pray. Mention ko kanina ano parang after after nand pumunta ako green belt. Nasa green belt chapel ako. Nung nakapasa ko everything talaga like, thank you ka agad ako Lord thank you Lord. Nung before din ako pumasok di ba Easter Sunday nand so nung Easter Sunday talaga like, pray ako Lord. Um, Kung para sa akin to, please guide me. Let the Holy Spirit guide me all throughout. The rest, you, you'll be good. If it's for you, it's for you. If it's not, maybe some other time. Just remember that this isn't an easy job. You're gonna leave your family. You're gonna be working abroad. You're gonna be an OFW. It's not easy. But the benefits, oh my goodness. Dumidilim na. Masyado ko madaldal. So, yun lang. Sana may nakuha kayo sa mga kadaldalan ko. I wish you all the best. Good luck. Kaya mayan. Be prepared and pray. Mwah. See you.